Coming up on McNeil today, we'll tell you in the results of the last week's boys basketball games. Plus, we'll tell you who won Silver Star Student Awards. McNeil Today begins right now. From the McNeil Broadcasting Company, this is McNeil Today. Good morning and thanks for joining us. I'm Dane. And I'm Celeste. Right before our newscast, you heard Ms. Rollins announce the nominees for the Silver Star Student Award. And the suspense is over. Our Silver Star winners for the third six weeks are 7th grade girl Julia Chan, 7th grade boy Brady Benz, 8th grade girl Sydney Wisdom, 8th grade boy Reed Gibson. And our Mustang winner is 8th grader Carlos Regoza. Congratulations to all of the winners and to everyone that was nominated. Everyone keep up the good work. The winner should go by Mr. Rollins' office before leaving school today for your prize bag. Two groups will have meetings tomorrow morning. The first is National Junior Honor Society. Please make plans to attend the meeting tomorrow morning, January 13th at 7.30 in the Media Center. The second group meeting is tomorrow is Stand for the Silent, who will meet tomorrow at 7.15 in D135. There will also be a mandatory student council meeting Tuesday, January 13th. The meeting will be held at, in F100 at 3.05. With the new semester underway, we have several new club meetings this week. One of those clubs is New Chess Club. Meetings will be Tuesdays and Thursdays from 3 to 4 in the Media Center by the Nonfiction section. During Chess Club, the Gaming Club is allowed to meet as well. Two new clubs are having their first meeting tomorrow after school. The Spanish Club is open to any student who will meet and will meet at 305 room D100 in the information in the shop. I see Ms. Mendoza for more information. Anyone interested in the new robotics club should find be in the room D137 at 315 to see Ms. Hauk if you have any questions. McNeil will also be participating in, the, in many UIL academic events this semester. <laughs> if you are interested in participating in any of these events, you should attend the informational meeting Thursday, January 15th, after school at 310 and F120. If you need more information, please contact Ms. Mitchell. If you are interested in martial arts, then you might want to try Teen Kenpo. Teen Kenpo will meet on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 415 to 515 p.m. on the stage. There is more information about it on the website under clubs as well as outside of F110. See Ms. Nichols, Mr. Nichols for more information. We have a message from Ms. Rushing concerning basketball games. Students, remember that we encourage you to come to the basketball games to cheer for your friends. You must pay to get into the games and be sure that you have called for a ride when the last quarter of the last game has started. During all games, students can only leave the gym for, concession, for the concession stand, restroom, etc. during halftimes or between games. You may leave the gym as, at any other time if you are with your parents. Students are not to hang out in the halls or back gym. Once a student leaves the gym and goes outside the building, they may not come back in without paying at the gate. During all school activities, students should mind their manners and set a good example for the community and opposing teams. The McNeil boys basketball teams took on Owl, Owl Park Thursday night. The 8th grade B team won 38-17. High scorer was Caden Lavelle with 10 points. Defensive standouts were Luke Vanderstreet and Jesus Moreno. And the A team won 36 20 with scorer was Anthony Vargas with 8 points. Defensive standout was Noah Randall. It's time for weather. Here's Allie with your weather. Thanks, guys. Let's take a look at your forecast. Today, mostly cloudy and windy with a high near 40. <laughs> Tonight, cloudy with a low around 26. Tuesday overcast with a high near 37. Tuesday night partly cloudy skies with a low of 29. Wednesday cloudy early with increasing sunshine as the day goes on and a high near 41. That's a look at your weather. Here's what's being served today in the main line of the cafeteria. Steak fingers, ham and cheese sub, whipped potatoes, green beans, orange smiles. Looking ahead tomorrow will be peach crunchers and grilled cheese sandwiches. We do need your news and events. If you have any information for NBC Today, here are two easy ways to get it to us. You can email it to us at cmjohnson at wfisd.net or drop it off to us here in D Room 138. Remember that we do need your information by 5 p.m. the day before to ensure it will make the show. That's what's going on around McNeil today. Go out and make it a great day and we'll see you tomorrow.